and it has a very long um, chain sort of belt, which belt strap, which you can actually, so this is cutting it in half kind of. Greetings and salutations, my name is Oracult and welcome to my sanctuary. To those of you new here, I hope you enjoyed this video, stick around and check out some of the other videos on this channel if you like the dark side. And if you're a returning visitor and especially subscriber, I thank you so so much for your support, it really means a lot to me. So without further ado, what we're doing is, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing this hat. Well, not only... I still haven't stolen this from my son who got this from, for Christmas, but there's a reason for it. The reason is because ACDC is a band from which country? Australia. And who else lives in Australia? Avelina de Mori, one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, who is also an amazing singer. And she has a band, well, we used to have a band called, uh, called As Angels Bleed. She designs the most amazing stuff. And she's also, like, one of the coolest people I've seen on YouTube. I really loved her videos back in the day when she made, like, a lot of them. Now she's less active on YouTube, but now has a podcast as well. Anyway, I just like the woman. She's really cool. She also has two boys, so I can sort of identify with that. And I just love her style in general. Love the music as well. So, I will take this off because it's ridiculously hot in this thing. But I thought I'd just, you know show it off because it has horns. My hair is probably messed up. So back in the day when I just started getting into YouTube and especially into the gothier side of YouTube, I thought, you know, who, who actually does this stuff? And I was looking for makeup videos and I stumbled upon a channel of someone named Riri Phillips, who is sadly no longer active on YouTube, but was like one of my absolute favorites and probably the first I started watching in the genre. And I just fell in love with her videos. I thought, how bloody amazing is this chick? And I really, really liked them. And then through her, she suddenly said, well, I'm getting this handbag released and it's done by Evelyn Demore. And that's how I found out. And then of course I looked at the bag and I went, Oh my god, I want this. So I bought that bag and then basically I built up quite an Evelyn Demore collection because I'm just a huge fan of her work, really. So I thought I'd go through that and show you that first bag that I got. So they come in these bags, which are absolutely gorgeous with the Evelyn Demore logo. And this was that bag. I don't think it was the first bag Evelyn Demori did. I think she's done some prior to that one. This is the first one I got because this is the first I've heard of her and I immediately fell in love with it because it was black and purple which are two of my absolute favorite colors and look at that. It's purple like soft velvety on the inside. It has a little mirror and then it says over here it says Riri Phillips and Avelina de More. It comes with this beautiful, beautiful sort of chain, which you can also take off. So you can have a clutch or you can have a handbag. And there's like multiple sections in here and a sort of inside zip up pocket as well. And yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. There's also, ah, oh, I even wore it. I didn't even take the tag off. I have used this. I just forgot the tag was actually in there. But it's the most amazing bag. Like it's beautiful for like going somewhere. Like it's not over the top at all, but it's still gothy, but more in a classy sort of gothy way. So somewhere like the theater, this wouldn't be out of place at all. I think it's absolutely stunning. So that was my first purchase, which I absolutely loved. I think I haven't used this overly much. I did use it once or twice. I think once was to the Alice Cooper concert a few years ago, but it did get a little bit of where I'm hoping to use it more for like theaters where we're going because we're moving countries. So that, that might get a little bit more wear there. But yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous and it's sort of more toned down, classy kind of goth. So I love this one. 
So then, Avelina de Moray and Riri Phillips also collaborated and did a lot of art prints, and they were very vampire themed, and I love that stuff. So I got two prints, which I got framed, and which have like Riri Phillips basically as a vampire, and I just love that sort of purple kind of vampiric theme. And again, it's not too over the top, but it looks so beautiful. I really love the color combination. So that's one of the pictures that's in our bedroom. And the second one from the same series, but slightly different. Again, really, really beautiful. Love that headpiece. And ju just in general, like the style of them, the lighting, the colors, everything. Really, really love these pictures. So yeah, I got those. Then I got this absolutely gorgeous as Angels Bleed art book with a CD of the Angel as Angels Bleed album. So there's the CD there and there's uh, Wayne DeMori's signature. So basically I think this was even from the Blemish stock section and I think they might have still some left in that store of this book. But I couldn't even like find any sort of blemishes on it. But it's absolutely beautiful, and it has some of the artwork and the lyrics from the songs. So we can see, yeah, there's some of the songs from that album. Ooh, I think there's a receipt going out. Uh, but yeah, really, really beautiful. I think there's a whole video of Aveline de Mori going through it, talking about it. But I really wanted to get the book because actually I've already, and there's Evelyn Demori herself, like how stunning is she? So yeah, I quite enjoyed that album. I think it has that really beautiful goth metal kind of sound. It's not overly heavy. It's very melodic. It has some great vocals. I like the lyrics. It's not a very personal album. And I think Avelina recently said that and said that she's more into personal stuff now, which is, you know, also amazing to listen to. But sometimes I really want to listen to that sort of just, you know, general feel good, reckless kind of metal mayhem about vampires, you know, that, that's that kind of thing. So I really, really like this. And we're up to bag number two. So this baby here is called Esme de la Morte. So the name of it is in there. And inside, get this, is this cute baby pink and very, very fluffy, which I love. Again, it has a mirror. I didn't even take the thing off because I don't tend to use these, but actually I might have to stop carrying mirrors sometimes and just use these because that's quite convenient really. i just not used to them, I guess. And it has a very long strap. So this is cutting it in half kind of, but you can actually wear it as a crossbody kind of bag as well so that that's all adjustable. And it has these really cool spikes on it. And it's just, in general, it's really pretty. I've worn it quite a few times into town and I got many, many compliments. Like people just kind of stop, stare at it. And most people are like, where did you get that bag? But it is quite a stunner, like I must say. It has velvet, it has metal, it has spikes. It has like everything you could possibly want in a bag. And I think something like this is actually still available on her website or, or, or something very similar called the Little Devil. I think it's it's the same style and I think the interior might have different colors or something like that but I'll link it down below for you as well. The Riri has sold out and a lot of them come in very limited edition so you know if you like something you kind of have to get in there. So that's that one. Then another thing happened which was the Aveline de Moray Death Candy collaboration which looks like this. It is a ginormous, ginormous wallet with this handy little hand strap and a moon. Also, this is still definitely available. This comes in a multitude of colors, and mine was of course purple. But there's heaps of really good ones. There's like orange and fluoro green, 
type O negative forever and that kind of thing. So it's pretty, pretty cool. I've used this once or twice. I don't have all my cards in here because some of the bags I use it doesn't fit into. But I'm thinking that I might start using this more just as a like, you know, you quickly run out and get something. So that's really good for that, you know, putting all your stuff into. It has this adorable little zip moon sort of thing. Just there. And the other section here is just like that. I usually use that section more for cards rather than this because, well, cash is not very often, so I just tend to kind of ignore this. But I I'm thinking of trying to use this more because I really love the look of it. So there is that one. And again, it comes in a pretty cool bag, which says Evelyn de Moray. And my last order was basically Evelyn de Moray and Cristiano one and only released this most adorable thing ever. This comes in a variety of colors and it comes in patent, well, this is all full leather, but either patent or matte leather. Uh, and it comes in, sometimes it's this stitching is either black or fluoro green or red or white. So it's all really, really cool. And basically this is a mirror, which is like that. It is very, very pretty and it has this satisfying magnetic sort of clasp and then it says inspired by Christiana one and only beauty is often hidden in the darkness on the back of it mm. and I've done an unboxing of this earlier so in detail I sort of talk about that I'll link it up there and because I was buying this, I thought I'd grab the other handbag that I didn't have, which I thought was also absolutely stunning. Again, the beautiful, beautiful velvet pouch. And this was the Drag Mackens, who is no longer active on YouTube, but also was another goth YouTuber. And this was sort of the collab Evelina did with her. And this is just like crazy pretty. Again, it's kind of more extreme looking than the Riri Phillips, but I really love the style of it. I love the vampire bat, I love the crosses, and inside it's red. And it says Drag Mackens and Aveline de Mori in there. And again, it has this beautiful, beautiful strap, which is quite long, but again, you can shorten it. And it actually came, I think, without one of these, but I emailed Avelina and she's like, the service is really good. She obviously sort of sent me a replacement. So that was really, really cool of her. Thank you. And again, inside here we have two compartments and one zip up one and the mirror. So really, really nice. And what also really got me about this one is of course the back of it. And you have the zipper and you have this beautiful little cross with little black stones in it. Like, how amazing is that? And all these studs. It looks so punk and edgy, but yet, you know, the patent leather makes it so dressy. It's cool for an occasion, so it would not even look out of place with like a really nice evening dress, but just give the outfit that edge so if you're going somewhere really like nice but you want to kind of still you know rock your style this is such a great bag for that I think because it doesn't have it does have a little bit of spikes but you can again sort of dress it up or down or take them off and carry it as a clutch so it's quite versatile I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I think coming up she's already released the absolutely gorgeous design of the collab with Danny Divine is up on pre-order, but if, I think to where I'm going, the shipping is going to be insane, but I think it might be worth it. And I hear, uh, I think one of the stories she's done was talking about a ring and she has the coolest rings ever. And I'm just dying to see what the ring will be like, cause it's going to be big, bold and like in your face. And I just really want it already because I've seen the rings she chooses 
and I love all of them. I actually bought a few that I've seen on her and <gasps> it was like Thomas Sabo or something, but this is the most beautiful ring. I actually shipped it from Australia. I love it so much. So yeah, I'm looking forward to those. So yeah, check them out. So if you haven't heard of Aveline Demore, definitely check out her website. It's just the stuff there is really, really amazing. A lot of this is still available. I think this has sold out, but, but the mirror definitely and the As Angels Bleed and the little devil handbag that's all still up there. And yeah, I just, I, I, I love her stuff. Love it, love it, love it. So let me know if you have any Evelyn Zamori down below in the comments and let me know if you've actually heard of her before this. So yeah, that is my little Evelyn Demori collection, which actually, once I went through it, turned out to be not so little. Maybe I have a problem, maybe not. You decide, but don't tell me. I do do like her, though, like you can tell. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a pleasant time of day wherever you are. And if you're new here, I hope you enjoyed this and come back. Please come back. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much again for your support. Really appreciate it. And if you're not a subscriber yet returning, why are you not a subscriber? Let me know down below in the comments. Have a pleasant time of day wherever you are and greetings and salutations to you.